Hi everyone, welcome back to Aim at Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant at Aim at Melanoma's Ask an Expert. In this video, we're gonna be talking about when BRAF testing should be done. If you remember from our prior videos, BRAF is part of the pathway that tells the tumor to grow. This is called the MAP kinase pathway. Mutations in this pathway, such as V600E and V600K, can cause this signal to be transmitted more frequently, which can increase the growth of the tumor. Blocking this pathway can actually decrease or even sometimes stop the growth of the tumor. So one of the most important things um, to know, especially before you start any type of therapy for either stage three disease or stage four, um, so stage three would be what's called adjuvant or preventative disease. And obviously if you're treating a tumor that's present in the body, that would be for stage four. So the most important thing to know before you start a treatment would be whether or not you have this BRAF mutation. It can sometimes aid your physicians or clinical team in deciding on what treatment options or treatment pathway is best for you. The other thing to keep in mind when you're deciding when BRAF testing should be done is that this is a DNA test. So it can take a little bit of time before you have the results back. Um, as you know from our prior videos, in order to have this BRAF testing be performed, um, this requires a little bit of tumor tissue. Um, this can actually come from either a primary melanoma on the skin, or it can come from a tumor, a piece of a tumor that has metastasized somewhere else in the body. If you remember um, also from our prior videos, we learned that the BRAF mutation is present in about 50% of skin or cutaneous, what's called cutaneous melanoma. So again, this is a DNA test. You need a piece of tumor to be able to do it. It does take a little bit of time to get the results back. So a really good time to think about doing this test is actually if you have been diagnosed with a you know, later stage melanoma, either stage three or stage four. This is an FDA approved test for both of those stages. Um, and it's something that gives you some information that you'll wanna have ready in your back pocket just in case you need it. So the answer to when BRAF testing should be done is really any time. There's no wrong way, there's no wrong time. Um, your BRAF mutation status won't change. So it will be the exact same result at the time of diagnosis of a cutaneous primary as it will be if you develop metastatic disease down the road. So again, when should BRAF testing be done? It can be done any time, but you wanna definitely think about this early because it is something that can take a bit of time to come back. And this is information that you wanna have in your pocket ready to go if you need it. This is Melanoma 101 and I'm Melissa Wilson. Have a wonderful day.